towards your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what it was in the morning. You were preparing breakfast for your husband, who was getting ready in your shared room to go for his office. Wine, make it fast. He must be coming already. It was your mistake. You slept so late because of your K-drama obsession. Now see, you're hurrying up. You know, right? He doesn't like eating outside food. You thought to yourself as you hit your forehead because of disappointment over you. Meanwhile, Jungkook came downstairs while talking on his mobile. His tone seemed a little more exciting than his usual cold tone. I know, we will get this project. But I didn't expect it will come this fast. Okay, arrange a success party for whole employees tonight. He said to the vice president of the company and cut the call. He was working as a CEO to a certain company which was owned by his father. It came as an inheritance from his grandfather but now he took complete control of it as his father was retired. Jungkook, just two minutes, I will set the table. You said with little fear and tried to hold all the balls in your hands but he noticed your trouble. You should have asked for help when you cannot manage alone, he said in a cold tone while taking the balls from you but you smiled for his concern towards you. He put the balls and sat in a chair where you sat opposite to him. You served the food in both of your plates and was having your breakfast silently until Chunko broke the silence. Vyan, we are hosting a party tonight. Get ready by 6 p.m. I will come and pick you up. He said that one sentence and again went to his silence mode because he was kind of reserved and don't speak much. Okay, Jungkook, you replied smiling and continued to eat your breakfast. It's been six months since you got married to him. His mother saw you somewhere and liked you. His parents approached your father as they knew each other in the business world. That's how they made you both agree for this marriage. Even though it was an arranged marriage, you guys had some connection between you, maybe because of it. You both said as for this marriage at first meet, but you know he was not kind of someone who acts romantic and lovey-dovey. You understood his reserved nature and didn't put any pressure him to change himself for you. And just like you, he also understood that you were a little friendly and loved to show your feelings towards your loved ones. That's why he never said anything to change. And in fact, he used to it. Okay, Vyan, see you in the evening. He said in his famous cold tone without any smile and walked out of the house. Bye, drive safe. You said smiling while he was disappearing from your sight. Soon he went out completely. Smile on your face faded away because you felt sad for his actions. Even though you understood him, sometimes you feel sad for his actions. As a wife, you will have some kind of expectations from your husband. He should understand that. It was a little complicated relationship with less complications. Here, Jungkook came to his cabin as he reached his office after one hour journey. He put his bag in a chair and seated in his chair. I need to discuss a few things with Theon Jimin. He thought and immediately sent an email to them as he turned on his system. Within 5 minutes, they both came into his cabin as they checked their mailbox. Good morning Jungkook, they greeted him as well as he also greeted them back. Actually, Theon Jimin were CFO and CIO of this company. So we did it right. He sounded confident and happy about something they achieved. Yes, Jungkook, we got this project. He said smiling at Jungkook and Jimin. Not only that, our sales have increased six times with this achievement. This news was spread to the whole world that we got a deal from the top company. He said adding the extra information which they don't know. 
great to hear okay listen you guys should arrange a grand success party tonight you both take care of arrangements and i will take care of the rest of the guest list they both smiled at each other with this Jungkook are you bringing our sister to this party he said looking at Jimin with a smirk on his face Yeah she is coming how can i not take her with me when i'm hosting this party he said shifting his gaze and his system where they both nodded their heads pressing their lips together as if they didn't expect this answer Not bad. You know to act as a husband. Nice. Keep it up. Please act lovey dovey at least in the party. Anyways, you don't act friendly and home right. Jungkook glared at Jimin, where he gulped with little fear. I know how to take care of my relationship. You guys take care of arrangements. If any mistakes happen, then you guys know about my punishment. With that, the board stopped making fun of him and left his cabin. Where he smirked as he felt proud. Jungkook, Jimin, and Taeyong are best friends from the college. The three worked hard on this company to bring it to the top position. As it was Jungkook's father company, he was in the CEO role and next higher roles designated to Jimin and Taeyong. As they both knew about Jungkook's nature, they feel little bad for you as they knew you will have some kind of expectations from your husband. Of course, you never said them, but as brothers, they can understand you. That's why they were trying to bring a change in Jungkook. In the evening, Jungkook came home. You served him some snacks and went to take a shower. and he also took a shower and got dressed up in the downstairs bedroom where is she why hasn't she come yet when are you ready he asked you in a loud tone as you were getting ready in the upstairs room just 2 minutes shankuk you replied to him with the same level of tone just then he sat on the couch waiting for you and 10 minutes passed He stood up impatiently and turned around to call you. Why? He closed wide open mouth and stood frozen as you came there fully dressed up. You wore a purple color floral frock which was below the knees. Set your hair free waving half part at the right shoulder and you put a simple diamond necklace and simple earrings as jewelry. You put a light makeup As you were born as a natural beauty, Jungkook, you called his name, but he didn't respond as he lost his senses after seeing you. He really mesmerized by the way you were looking. Jungkook, are you here? You went near him and patted on his shoulder. With that, he came back to reality and acted like correcting his throat, as he felt awkward with the way you were looking at him. I'm ready shall we go? You asked him by hiding your smile as you understood that he was astonished by your beauty. Yeah, let's go. By the way, you're looking beautiful today. He said and quickly went to his car as he felt shy to express his feelings. It's not like he never admired your beauty. He admires but secretly, but this time he said openly. Thank you Jungkook you said as he went out you really felt happy with his reaction and with his compliment you like to hear this kind of small compliments just to feel positivity in the relationship after a while you and Jungkook reached the party hall the car ride was funny for you as you saw Jungkook was nervous the whole ride as he wanted to say compliments but his introvert making him swallow everything hi jungkook hi wayan he greeted you both as you entered inside hi theon good evening you smiled and shook your hand with his and jimin who was talking to the waiter saw you on jungkook and came to you hello wayan hi jungkook he hugged his friend and shook your hand Where you also greeted him back. How is everything going? 
He asked looking around as he got satisfaction after seeing the decoration of how. Yeah, going good. He said smiling where he also looked around the hall. When you sit at our resort table, I will come after taking care of a few things. He said in a cold tone where you nodded with a smile and went to the table. But then Jimin was smiling by seeing Jungkook whose eyes were glued to you. He forgot that he was with his naughty friends and just keep on looking at you. Jungkook, shall we meet guests? But then he quickly got back to his cold mode and walked out from there where they both blocked behind him. The party was going on, a few were giving speeches, but his whole concentration was only on you and you are surprised when he smiled at you a few times. Jungkook, have this drink, you must be thirsty. He gave the drink which has in it as they and Jimin planned together to play with Jungkook. Thank you Jimin, he said and sipped the drink trusting them blindly while they hive under the table. And they were trying so hard to control their laugh, imagining his situation after drinking it. It was at the end of the party and Jungkook started feeling changes in his body. What's happening to me? Then Jimin observed him and were laughing inside. What happened to you Jungkook? Are you okay? I think I'm not. Wine can we leave? Hey Jimin, will you take care of rest? As they said yes, you and Jungkook got into the car to leave from the party hall. Jungkook was driving the car but his body was shivering and you observed it as you never saw him being like this. He used to be steady but now he was sweating and shivering even though there was AC inside the car. Jungkook are you okay? You asked but he didn't reply so you put your hand on his thigh to get his attention but his heart dropped into his stomach when you put your hand on his thigh. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. He immediately pushed your hand from his thigh as he started feeling the urge to touch you but he controlled himself until he reaches the house. Soon you entered in, you gave him a glass of water and he gulped it. You tried to hold his hand to help him go upstairs but he jerked as he got some kind of feelings in him. You felt bad to see him struggling. Why you go up? I'm okay now. He said standing steady by using all his strength as he told you to go upstairs to your shared bedroom. What's wrong with me? Why am I feeling tension? Why am I getting close to me? I don't know why I feel like touching her. He exhaled a sharp breath, closing his eyes and came to a room. You are taking off the necklace while bringing all your hair to the left side of the shoulder. Making your bare neck visible, the frock you wore has a little deeper back and Jungkook who came to the room saw your back and walked to you. He stood behind you and was thinking of touching your back or not but you didn't say anything as you thought he was looking into the mirror. His hand came near to your back but he quickly took it back as he felt it was strong. He stood rubbing back his neck where his lips were drying with the tension. Then his eyes fell on your neck, making him weak. As he couldn't control, he pressed his lips on your neck, earning a gasp from you. Jungkook, what are you doing? You thought he was doing out of love, but he made you turn at him and smashed his lips on yours before you could say anything. You would have cooperated with him if he was doing it out of love. But the kiss was going rough and rough, making you realize something off in him. So you tried to push him, but he was more stronger than you. He didn't stop kissing until he made your lower lip. Later, he lifted you and put you on the bed and was taking off his clothes. Where you started panicking by seeing his strange behavior. You didn't expect this kind of behavior from him. Jungkook, what are you doing? Stop it. I'm going to make love with you. Please, don't stop me. I cannot control it anymore. It's hurting here. He said, showing at his 
has he got the urge to do with you? No, Jungkook, this is not love. This is something. Leave me, leave me. Don't come near me. He was trying to move back on the bed where he was coming forward until he grabbed your breast and made you lay down forcefully. He hovered on your top, but but he quickly let go of your hands and got up from you as he saw tears and fear in your eyes. He never saw this kind of fear in you. He stepped back and realized what he was doing. I'm sorry, Vyan, he said and immediately left the room leaving you in tears. He slowly got off the bed and walked near the door to close it. He made sure he was not around and locked the door. No, no, I will not open the door. He would do something to me if I open. You came to the bed and sat on it, covering you fully in a thwart. You sat hugging your knees as you were shivering because you scared of him so badly. When Jungkook came out feeling guilty, his phone started ringing and it was Theung. So he lifted to talk about his problem as he was experiencing new desires now before that they said something. Hey Jungkook, how are you doing? We disturbed you. Yeah, Theung got the call. He must be busy now. Our must have worked well. Jungkook understands now why this was happening to him. His blood was boiling in his anger where vents were popping out. His jaw was clenched in anger. Shut up, you nonsense guys. He shouted at them on the call and threw the phone on the floor aggressively as he didn't expect they would do this under the name Fun. He immediately came to the bathroom and drenched under the cold water to keep his body at ease. He was feeling guilty while remembering how badly he behaved with you. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Here, you sit in the same position shivering with fears and some blurry images flashing in front of your eyes which were related to your past. Suddenly, you started hearing the door knocking sound. Ryan, open the door. Open the door, Ryan. No, I will not open it. No, go away. I will not open it. You are a bad guy. You said crying out where he was feeling more guilty by standing other side of the door. Vyan, please, Vyan, I will explain it to you. I didn't do it intentionally. Please open the door once. He was crying by banging the door for putting you in this horrible situation. You started recalling the past which happened to you. When you were in high school, there was a bad boy who interested in girls and one day you went to get something from the storeroom of the school and it was evening. There were only few students in the whole school. That's why you locked yourself in the room the whole night where Jungkook sat outside of your room. He was continuously saying sorry to you where you drifted to sleep while hearing his sorry. You just slept hugging your knees while crying and crying. Next morning you woke up and remembered everything that happened at night. But now you are not scared because you understood it was Jungkook not that bad guy. Yes, you got recovered from the past trauma, but Jungkook's action made you recall it, that's why you were scared at night. You opened the door and saw Jungkook sitting there silently, leaning his back to the wall. His eyes were red and dry tears on his cheeks visible to you. As he understood, you opened the door, he looked at you and quickly hugged your waist by standing on his knees. Ryan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ryan. Please trust me. I didn't do it wantedly. He again started crying, hugging your waist 
as he scared you would lock yourself in your room again by seeing him like this you felt bad because he never behaved like this jungkook wait don't cry but you did a mistake jungkook it was a mistake i know but there and jimin mixed in it because of it i behaved like it i know about my morals but you understood now the reason behind his behavior you knew he was not that kind of person as you realized the truth you kneeled down to his level and cupped his face jungkook don't cry i understand everything now you said and explained why you locked yourself in your room He felt so bad for you that he had gone through a worst nightmare. He could not control himself and pulled you into his embrace and hugged you tightly. I'm so sorry, Van. Because of me, you experienced that fear again. I'm extremely sorry. I didn't know all this. Please excuse me for this time. I will never behave like this. I don't even lay my finger without your permission. I know about you, Jungkook. I know about you. I know you're a gentleman. That's why I love you. Is it dropping tears on his chest where he broke the hug and cupped your face? Why, just because I don't say it doesn't mean I love you. I really love you and really care for you. I'm promising from today I will never let you feel low. I will keep you happy. He said and kissed on your forehead with affection. Thank you for watching. 